Oh, good. They brought all my luggage up. Oh, I probably should have strapped that stuff down first, you know? Oh, no! My luggage! Oh, All right, welcome back to Starfield. This is part seven. I will just address it. Yep, the title says something. I won't wait very far in. Let's cover it. I did a thing. I decided it was time to retire the frontier. So I built something. I built a Halo frigate. It's really big and awesome. I'm not gonna cover too much of it here. I think I'm gonna do a whole video on it though, like a tour and kind of a breakdown of it. It's really cool, I'm very happy. It took me a long time and it was expensive. Oh, and it's called the USS F off and die, so. In the illustrious words of Billy Joe Armstrong. What the f***? What is that? Is that a rock? But we're back, we're on Paradiso. Last time, we got roped into trying to mediate a land dispute between some people up in a ship and, uh, well, the people that live here. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I feel like no side's gonna win. I feel like I'm gonna lose. But I think Sarah wants to talk to me. Sarah, what do you gotta say? Thanks for taking time to chat. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Let me guess, somebody died. No, no, it's nothing like that. Oh, okay, good. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. So what you're saying is you feel like a bit of a f**k-up. Something like that. It's difficult to explain. No, I get it. I feel that way all the time. This silence is getting awkward. I'm thinking, Sarah. I'm thinking real f hard right now. You can't even see my two brain cells. They're moving so fast. Let me think. Okay. So you're saying that you're so much better than everybody that if you're not there, things will fall apart. Yes, exactly. <laughs> wow, burn. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Yo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. You're f***ing dunking on it. Oh yeah, I forgot about Barrett. We should probably find him at some point. She mentioned something. Oh, here you are trying to help me, and I'm yelling at you. I'm not trying to help, though. I'm trying to make jokes. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Wow! So you're saying that nobody at Constellation gives a damn. Now, Sarah, I know this is, like, therapeutic and all, but you were just talking mad about everybody. But now I'm gonna flirt with you. I'll always be here to give a damn about you. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just... Please, it's not you. It's me. It was nice knowing you, Sarah, but now I'm just embarrassed. Was that a brick? No, that's a paper towel. Tube. <gasps> oh! Okay, Sarah, come on. You're telling me that you don't like me after that? That was awesome. Well, that's great. Now I'm depressed. I came here all excited and happy. I took my shot. But that shot did not land. No major incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do anything. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope you're still. Oh, this looks today. like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? Uh, two separate rooms, please. It's lovely. Oh, wait. Sorry. Don't want to skip the line. Hi, concierge. Dirk. <sighs> Hello. Welcome to Paradiso. Dirk Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance checking in for your reservation? What's it like having the name Dirk? Nonsense. We also have the galaxy's only gourmet chunks. What are gourmet chunks? Hang on. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Hang on. Sarah. Sarah, we need to go get gourmet chunks. Right now. Right, right now. Come on. Move. Get the f*** out of my way. Gourmet chunks. Where are they? Give me the f***ing... This place is a hole. You know what? Maybe these people don't deserve this planet. I want to give it to people in space. Hello there. Oi. Hello. Can I take... Huh? I got your bag, man. Boom. That's how Mine. Get you. Sarah, we're stealing luggage. Nice uh. to see you again. Take that to my ship right now. I'm going to get more. Um, I'd like to report an unintended bag. It might contain a bomb. It's that one right there. See it? Right there. Uh, are you shooting at flies now? Nope, shooting at bags. Don't worry. I'm gonna keep the hotel safe. Is uh. wonderful. If that thing blows up, it's in the water. I've played Minecraft. We're safe. What if that was just somebody's luggage, though? Wait, don't people sometimes put animals in luggage? Oh, no. Eh, it's probably fine. Horrible service. He didn't even take my stolen luggage to my ship. Ooh, more luggage. Hi, I'd like to check in, please. This is my bag. Hope hey, I said take day. that to my... Hey, 
Hey! Well, that could have ended really poorly and not gonna lie. The security's only here for your safety. Pretend we're not even here. Oh god, drinking. Yo, look at these guys. What you dancing to? I was worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at M Hands. Yeah, shake it, man. This is the spot. Yo. Let's go for myself. Look, dude. Look at his there nose. Look at this so guy. Activities. I'm looking that boy can dance. Doing, I'm just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. So can you. But dude, look at this guy. This I guess I have to admit, this resort sure. isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I no, no, no. Look, you move. I want to see this guy. I'm here for a little on and huh? Me too. Hell yeah. Whoa, look at this guy! No one's going to care if I pull out sick from work for another week. Stop it. All right. I guess I better go work on that land dispute. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Well, I wouldn't say it's trouble, but it's going to give you a headache. You see... I'm kind of an acting representative of the ship that's in orbit up there. They say they have a claim to this here land. Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Yeah, no one does. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell, a CEO for the Paradiso Group. I'll let him know you're on your way. Great. Is he here on this planet or do I have to go somewhere else? What's this? What is that? You've got wood? In public? Do you have no decency, man? We've got some Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? I can just waltz in there, goddammit. Do you know who I am? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? A goddamn Diet Coke. Sure. Have fun in the Shark Tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Wait... Does that mean Mark Cuban and that other asshole is going to be in there? Well, well, well. Well, hello there, Oliver. I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in the sky. I am. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> sure, yeah, brilliant, whatever. Hmm. Sarcasm isn't nearly as powerful a tool as some think it is. F*** off, man. That's my only tool. Remind me to fire the marketing team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. No, you, your answer isn't to fire people. No. I thought this was the Shark Tank, not the Apprentice. No worries, mate. But my time is valuable. What if I told you it really was an alien mothership here to destroy your planet? I'd say you're full of it and might have been watching too many movies. Now, instead of wasting my time, want to tell me what it really is? Okay, but what if I said it again? I'd say you're full of it and might have been watching too many movies. Now, instead of wasting my time, want to tell me what it really is? Point taken. It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth here after a 200-year journey. Wow. That's something. It is a lot of stuff. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Well. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not killing anybody. Just tell me what you want to do. Wait, I'm buying the grav drive. You're telling me that in this boardroom you can't afford 10,000 credits between you three? What is this, an always sunny bit? Cease to exist? Are you suggesting we blow them up? No, I'm not suggesting anything. It sounded like Other it. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. I think that's a threat. I see where you're coming from, but I respectfully disagree with you. And that's within your right. I think I've made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? Oh, <gasps> no. Okay, hypothetically hear me out. There's a train on the tracks barreling down at a ship filled with people. What would happen if the ship went away? I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. The reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. But who would do such a thing? Don't even think for one moment that this would be acceptable behavior. 
You can't just blow up their ship. That's insane. I didn't say I was. I was asking a question, Sarah. God damn it. Sarah. You've got an evil look on your face, mother I know you want me to blow that ship up. I can see it in your eyes. Are we talking or not? I'm looking at you, I'll buy the grab drive and convince them to settle somewhere else. I'm not gonna let you take advantage of these people, God damn it! Ah, good on you. You wanna see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tick? I know this was a difficult decision. It was. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, what is it you need to discuss? Before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military. Part of the United Colonies Navy. Yep. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, Chief Navigator's pretty close to Captain, right? I mean, they're like, they sit next to each other, I think. Or near each other. They're both on the bridge. Or at least on the same ship. In my case, I was third in command. See? There was a particularly bloody battle. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. You know what, Sarah? I would have done the exact same thing. I would want to take the mother down with me. <sighs> I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. <sighs> there was nothing I could do. Okay, Sarah, again, I didn't expect this conversation to get this deep, okay? I now see why the joke about me blowing up the ship, really in bad taste, okay? I get it now. You've taught me a lesson. How did you get off the ship then, or are you actually just a ghost? Wait, are you Bruce Willis or am I Bruce Willis in this situation? I took the other escape shuttle. The Dauntless came apart minutes after I escaped. Sarah, you can't blame yourself for what amounts to just a bunch of bad luck. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. Not me, though. That's why I'm worried about us. I won't fall apart if you touch me. What do you mean, worried about us? I feel different when I'm around you. I feel... safer. Comfortable. Not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. I'm here for you, Sarah. Every step of the way. After everything you've heard, all my stories, you still have faith. No one's ever cared about me this much. Not even Arja. F*** them, am I right? I'm gonna do it, guys. That's because I'm falling in love with you, Sarah. You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us. About our relationship. How we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. What? Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Damn it! I really thought it was going to happen right there. I had a drink all ready to crack open to celebrate. That did not go the way I thought it was going to go. I really thought that would go differently. I guess let's get going, Sarah. We gotta go get a RAV drive. Oh good, they brought on my luggage up. I was worried. Oh, I probably should have strapped that stuff down first, you know. Oh no, my luggage! Oh sh Well, God damn it. Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, has spared no expense. No, I think that was John Hammond. Just keep it holstered. We'll get along fine. Like this? What can I do for you? Now, I'm going to lay out a hypothetical for you here, all right? There's a train on the tracks barreling towards a ship. It needs a faster grav drive. Can you put that in there, sir? It's old. Oh, you should have just said that. I did. Sounds like this is for a good cause. It is a great cause. Well, I can't give you the part for free. I won't charge you for the work. You know what? I'll take it, sir. I will take that discount. You are a very generous man. Unlike that rat <laughs> Oliver over there. Holy 
Wait, someone just left lube in here? Oh god, why did they need it in here? Oh no, Sarah, let's get out of this room. Oh, I think I could smell it. Oh man, I really don't think she's gonna like what I have to say. Like, hi, yes, remember how I said I was gonna get you a good deal? Well, I didn't. Hi. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Yeah, we have these things, they're called grav drives. And what they do is they use space magic to, like, I don't know, fold the universe like a piece of paper and you punch a pencil through it. Sir, I know I just said space magic, but you can stop looking at me that way. Yes, of course! Anything for my new friend. That's making an assumption right there, sir. I'm supposed to help you prep the ship for a grav drive. Now, I just explained it as space magic, but it's not that magic. What grav drive? All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. You don't sound confident. I've just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Hells yes, I'm ready. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Uh, Last, uh wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, the magnetic oh, flange piping uh, uh, auxiliary what? Got it? Let's hop to it! Um, sir, I know I may be the captain of my own ship, but my god, I do not know what any of that means. Aw. Uh. Oh my god. Oh man. Buddy, I was not paying attention to anything wow, that you I... said. Hey, about that grav drive retrofit. Uh, something wrong? Uh, what do I need to do again? There are three things we need to do. Okay. So long! Um, flange, uh, decouple from the... <laughs> oh no, I can't remember! Hey, hey, what do I do again? There are three things. Oh, a dipstick. Uh, okay. What, sorry, one more time. I just, one more time. Okay, which one was it? Uh. Looks like everything is good to go, both your end and mine. Uh, can you go and inform the captain while they're finishing the installation? Yes. Thanks. I, I can do that. Man, she's not gonna be happy. Hey, Captain Diana. Um, the grav drive is installed. You should be all set now. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. Where will you go now? I mean, I, I feel bad I couldn't work the situation out on the surface, but that guy was a douche. We don't yet know. Well, I'm glad it all worked out in the end. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. Thank you, again. Yo, I got what? I got antique Yo. What is a basketball? <laughs> Wait. Damn it, it's empty. Oh no, I'm lost again. Oh no, I'm lost. It happened again. Ooh, made it. This time it didn't take 10 minutes. Oh, I need to go see if any of my luggage survived. Cause like, I don't know. It did kind of go everywhere. Man, I really wonder what happened to my luggage. Is it just like all in the upper atmosphere or something? Aw. Uh, so wait, is my luggage just everywhere now? <sighs> well, Sarah, I found a ton of my sh It's just kinda, oh my god, it's everywhere. Oh my god, I found all of it. Well, Sarah, give me a hand, grab some. We need to get back to the ship. All right, get these tied down nice and secure this time. All right, well, that's where we're going to end it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Do all the other stuff that YouTube likes, because if you don't, then YouTube gets mad, and it treats me poorly. YouTube's mean that way. So, like, subscribe, comment, dislike, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And there goes my luggage again.